I'm attempting to complete every single GameCube game, and I'm using a random number generator to pick the next game. Last episode, we summoned the hearts of the cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! The Falsebound Kingdom. And in this week, we're hitting the clay courts with the Nintendo mascot and playing Mario Power Tennis. Mario Power Tennis was released on October 28th, 2004, and was developed by Camelot Software Planning and published by Nintendo. This was a fun game, and I had a great time with some of the extras it had to offer. Before we get started, make sure to like this video because it helps out the channel, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any of the future games. Without further ado, this is my experience with Mario Power Tennis. In Mario Power Tennis, we're going to go through all of the tournaments to consider this one complete. But first, I want to show you one of the mini games that Mario Power Tennis has to offer. This one has you hitting tennis balls at a wall and painting the image the correct colors in a certain amount of time. I really enjoyed this one, and I think it was a good way to get used to playing the game. This game has a large number of characters, and you can even unlock more characters by completing the tournament modes in the game. It has all your basic Mario characters that appear in most other games. I will be using Waligi in this playthrough because why wouldn't I use the character that made his debut in Mario Tennis? He's considered a defensive character and will respond better when backed against a wall. The tournaments in this game can be played either in solos or doubles, so to show off my skills in the game I'm going to play it in solos, so it's on me to win each match. The tournaments in this game start with the Mushroom Cup and work their way through the Fire Cup and then finally the Star Cup, which is the last one. I'm completing each one of these to consider this one complete. In the first round of the Mushroom Cup, we have to face the Green Bastard himself, Yoshi. This first cup is extremely easy and I won't struggle with this one at all. If you don't know how tennis works, I'm going to give you a short breakdown of the game. This match requires us to win one set. Each set is three to five matches, so in this cup, each set is three matches, so we have to win two matches to win the set and advance in the tournament. I hope that helps with the breakdown. It's a little confusing, but I don't really know tennis all that well as e either, so I tried my best. In Mario Power Tennis, once you hit the ball back and forth enough times, you get a power move. You can either use this as a defense if a ball gets away, because it will always save it. Or you can use it as offense and hit a special shot that is much harder for the opponent to hit back to you. Alright, now on to the actual match. We win the first match on an ace, which is when the opponent doesn't hit the ball back after you serve. These are pretty rare because you have to hit the ball towards them to start each round. But since this isn't easy, the opponent isn't very good. After each match, you switch sides with the opponent, and I feel like it was harder to play on the top of the screen for some reason. I don't think it actually was, but it just felt that way. On this rally, we get past Yoshi to win the set and move on to the next round of the tournament. After each round of the tournament, you get to save the game in case you lose the next set. I will end up using this later in the harder difficulty tournaments. In the next round, we have to beat Diddy Kong in a one-set match again. To win the first match of this set, we use our special spinning move to hit the ball at Diddy Kong, and it ends up hitting him, and we get to win the match. Bad reaction times for sure on that one. Can't say too much though, because we end up getting hit with the ball in the next match, but we're able to at least come back and win the set against Diddy to move on to the finals. In the finals of the Mushroom Cup, we have to face Luigi in a three-set match. At the beginning of this match, I hit a spinning special move, and look how much bullcrap it is that Luigi can save the ball when it's half the court away from him with his defensive move. This shouldn't work, no matter what his power-up is. I feel like I got screwed on that move. We are able to win the match, though, on the same rally, but how annoying was that move? In the next rally, I was able to just hit the ball right past him to win the game and the first set. Only one more set left to win it all. The next match was way more intense and I had to get advantage over Luigi, 
which is when both opponents have 40 points and you have to win by two. So it can keep going back and forth until someone is able to get two points in a row. I win the next game because Waligi is defense and I was able to hit back a rocket of a shot at me and Luigi could not react fast enough to hit the ball back. This gives you no time to react, so I think I got lucky on this one. Even though Luigi is able to save the original shot with this power up, my return ball was just so much better and we end up winning the game, set and match to bring home the gold for us. After we win, we unlock a new mini game called Mecha Bowser Mayhem, which I'll show off later in this video. We also get this cutscene where we celebrate with Wario, and he eventually knocks us over and causes us to throw the trophy in the air, which then comes and lands on our head. This would be incredibly painful, and Wario is sort of a jerk for this one. Not gonna lie. On to the Fire Cup. This one is a bit harder and actually made me adjust the way I was playing a bit. I think I started to get a little better at the game in this tournament as well, but I did have to adjust my playstyle. In the first round, we have to face Mario himself in a one set match. Is he going to be overpowered or can I handle him with no problem? We take him out easily. He didn't even stand a chance at all. We destroyed him. I think he was subpar at best, or I was just getting better at this point and playing the game. In the next round of the tournament, we have to face Donkey Kong in a three set match. He's here to get revenge for Diddy Kong losing to us in the semifinals in the Mushroom Cup. Donkey Kong has a power move where he puts himself in a cannon and shoots himself at the ball. And does this come out fast? So I had to use my defensive power to keep up from getting scored on. We win the first set off this exact move, and he's too slow to react to our hit back. Without much trouble, we're able to win the next match and secure ourselves a spot in the finals for the Fire Cup. Guess who we get in the finals again? Luigi. He really wants to take us down now. We have to beat him in a three set match again. We win the first set with no problem, and if you didn't notice, we're playing on clay now instead of grass. I think this looks pretty good. The next set we win after he uses his vacuum cleaner to save the ball, and we just chip the ball past him. After winning the match, we unlock the mini game called Balloon Panic, which again, I will show you shortly. The cutscene is exactly the same after winning the Fire Cup, so I didn't show it here. It seems lazy that there would only be one celebration for each character. Could have done some cool stuff, or at least some funny ones. On to the Star Cup next, and in the first round we have to face Shy Guy, which will end up being the hardest opponent we face during this whole playthrough. We have to beat him in a one set match and he loves to chip shot us. I don't know why, but these chip shots, I could not figure them out for the life of me. I don't know if it was because I was too close to the net or what, but he could score so many points against me just by chip shotting me. He actually beats us in the first round, I have to load my save file and try again. I think I lost a total of three times before I figure out how to take care of his trip shots and move on to the next round of the tournament. Look how crazy this rally is when I finally beat him. I had to use my defensive power up, which felt dirty, and then survive his offensive power up, which ended up being a chip shot, but we finally got him. Good riddance, shy guy. In the next round, we get to face off against Bowser Jr. in a three set match. He also likes to chip shot us, but by this time I had figured out how to deal with it a bit better. I wanted to show this rally because look how crazy these got. He used two power ups and was able to hit back my offensive power up while he was being spun in a circle like a tornado and then had this crazy diving save before I was able to score the point. I needed to win the game and that set. This was when I knew I was going to need to focus in order to win the rest of this tournament. To win the match, we basically just hold a tennis racket at the edge of the net and hit back his paintball offensive moves. This worked out great for me and I was able to win the set and move on to the finals. But before we play our final match to win the Star Cup tournament, I wanted to show off some of the mini games that Mario Power Tennis had to offer. The first one was playing tennis against a giant squid that requires you to hit the ball into one of four squares, 
but you can't hit the ball in the same square that you hit the last ball into. This was actually pretty difficult because I wasn't that great at putting the ball where I needed it to be. Then we played Balloon Panic, which requires you to hit squares on the wall to change the path that the little alligator was climbing, so it would avoid hitting the balloons at the top of the wall. I really like this minigame and I beat it my first try. On to the finals of the tournament and guess who we got? Diddy Kong was back and he wasn't going to lay down and let us win the trophy and complete the game. In the first set, we get into a tie break. This is something in tennis I didn't know existed. It's just playing the last match in a winner take all format, I think. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong about this. We were able to win the first set though. I had to put the pressure on Diddy Kong in this match. To win the next set, I put a perfectly placed ball on the other side of the court and Diddy had no shot at getting it. With the pressure on, Diddy tried an offensive power up and we were able to send it back and win the match. We are the champions now. We unlocked the character Fly Guy for completing the Star Cup tournament. The trophy cutscene is the same, so again, I'm not going to show that. But we do get the credits, so this game is considered complete now. But in the credits, it has bloopers which I think were really good and something they didn't need to add, but it made it so much better. I'm not ready to close the door on this game yet, so I'm going to show the rest of the mini games. This Luigi Mansion mini game requires you to hit the picture frame with the ghost coming out of it with the ball, and then you have to get to 50 points. The next mini game is Mario Sunshine themed, and you have to hit the spit I think is what that is, off the court and clear a line to get to 50 points. The next mini game has us hit chain chomps without them getting too mad and chasing us to the end of the treadmill. This was super hard for me to figure out. Now onto Mecha Bowser Mayhem, which in my opinion is the best mini game in this game, besides maybe the painting one. Mecha Bowser Mayhem has you hit tennis balls at Mecha Bowser as it shoots bullet bills and fire at you. You can't take too much damage or you'll lose, but the objective is to get the Mecha's health all the way down. It is such a super fun mini game. Highly recommend it. I also wanted to just show what the doubles looked like in this game. It's not much different besides having two characters on each side, but that's it for Mario Power Tennis. I would recommend this game. It's pretty fun and it does get challenging at times, but I think it could get old pretty quickly because there isn't all that much to it. But that's it, that's Mario Tennis. If you wanna know what's next, stick around, but if not, thanks for watching and remember to subscribe, like, and share this video and we'll see you in the next one. We're gonna find out what's next in three, oh, hold on, hold on, three, nope. Here, here, three, two, nope, too far that way. Three, two, one. Four seventy six, which is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I actually had this game. We got some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant turtles i had this game as a kid i think it was this one there is multiples yeah i'm pretty sure it was that one but we get some turtles next time that's exciting